Hi everyone! My name is Julia, welcome to my channel and this is my first video. I've decided to start with a video about basic crochet techniques for beginners, for those people who have never tried to crochet before, who have never even held a hook in their hands. So if it's about you, then this video will help you to understand all next crochet tutorials. In all of them you will hear these terms and all these techniques are used to create any crochet product. So if you have never tried it, this video will be very useful for you. In this tutorial I will use 7 9mm t-shirt yarn and a 6mm hook. You can use any size of hook that is comfortable for you. But the only thing that you have to know and uh, to remember about that, that the size of the hook affects the size of your finished product. The bigger hook makes it bigger and the smaller one makes it smaller. For example, if you want to make a basket, doing the same steps but using, for example, a 4mm hook and 7mm hook, in the end you will get totally different size of your basket. So you just should to remember about that. And a little information about t-shirt yarn. There are many t-shirt yarn manufacturers in the world and the size quality of the yarn differs from manufacturer to manufacturer. I don't know which t-shirt yarn you can buy in your country, but in general it can be primary and recycled. The primary yarn has the highest quality and can be used if you're gonna sell your works or if you just want your works to look perfect. That's why the primary yarn is more expensive. The recycled yarn costs cheaper, but it can have different defects such as different weight of yarn within one skein, holes, yarn breaks and so on. If you want to make something for yourself and you want to save some money, then you can crochet even with all these defects. Some of them will not be even noticeable. Also, t-shirt yarn can have different white. As I said before, mostly I use 7-9 white t-shirt yarn. But in my country I also can buy 3-5 mm yarn, 5-7 and 9-11 mm. The yarn can be made in bobbins, like this, and in rolls. The yarn in bobbins is a finished product. You don't need to prepare it in any way before you start to crochet. You don't need to do anything with it. You just take it and start. The yarn in rolls is not a finished product. As you can see, it looks different. The yarn in rolls looks much wider, but actually it's not true. It has the same white. But before you start to crochet with the yarn in rolls, you have to prepare it. You have to make it the same as the yarn in bobbins. So how we can do that? It's very simple. You just take the yarn and stretch it in different direction. Like this. It will curl up and become the same as the yarn in bobbins. And then you can start to crochet with it. If you're just a beginner, you have never tried to crochet before, then it's better to use the yarn in bobbins. Because you can just take it and start to learn how to crochet. You don't need to think how to prepare it. You don't, you don't need to distract yourself on such things. But if you have some experience, if you tried to crochet before and you want to save some money because this yarn is uh, cheaper, then maybe it will be better for you to use the t-shirt yarn in rolls. You will also need some needles with big eyes to hide yarn tips and some 
stitch marks that you will use to mark the beginning and the end of rows. So if you have any questions about hooks or yarn, feel free to write them in comments. So today we will learn such basic techniques as a chain stitches, single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet and the magic ring. So how to make chain stitches? We take the yarn and we leave a little tip here. We take the yarn like this. Then we put our hook under the working yarn. The working yarn is this part of the yarn that goes from the skein. So we take it like this, then we turn around our hook. Now we have a loop on our hook. We hook the working yarn and insert it inside the loop on our hook. Now we have the first stitch. This is the first stitch of our of our future chain. So to make the second stitch of our chain, we do the same. We hook the working yarn and insert it inside inside the loop on our hook. This is the second stitch. And again. Now we have three. One, two, three. So let's make 12 stitches for now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now we have 12 stitches. Let's check if we've made everything right, if we really have 12 stitches. So this loop that we have on our hook, we never count. It's not the first or the last stitch. It's just a loop, we don't count it. So we start to count from the first stitch that we've made. It was this one. So let's check and you can check your chain too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is the twelfth stitch. So now we've made a chain stitches, one of the main basic techniques. So the next technique we will learn is single crochet. We will make the whole second row with single crochet. And for that, first we turn our chain like this. The second row we will make from the right to the left. And we will start from the second stitch from the hook. So how to make single crochet. 
First we insert the hook through the second stitch from the hook. We hook the working yarn and we push it through this stitch back like this. Now we have two loops on our hook. Try to make them the same high, these two loops. Not like this, for example. Not like this. And not like this. They should be the same high. Then you hook the working yarn again and you insert it through both of the loops on your hook. Now we've made the first single crochet. Let's make the second one again. We insert the hook to the next stitch, hook the working yarn. Now we have two loops on our hook. We hook the working yarn again and push it through both of the loops on our hook. Let's repeat it again to the next stitch hook the yarn You see, every single crochet looks like a check mark here. Like this. And from the top, it looks the same, like a check mark. Every such check mark, it's one single crochet. And it's it also looks similar to that first chain that we made. So let's finish this second row with a single crochet. I'm doing it slowly. So you could see better. When you are already more experienced, then you you will do that very fast. So we have finished the second row with single crochet. Uh, if you remember, we started with a chain with 12 stitches here. But since we skipped one stitch in the beginning, we started to make single crochet 
uh, from the second stitch. Now we should have here 11 single crochet. Let's check if you've made everything right and if you have 11 single crochet now. So we will start from the first single crochet we've made. Here it looks it looks like this. It reminds me a check mark. And from the top the same. It was our first single crochet. You see? Every single crochet looks like this, like this, like check mark. And from the top. So let's count how many single crochet we made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. So everything is right. You also can count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. We remember that this loop on our hook we don't count. So the next technique we will learn is half double crochet. We will make the whole third row with a half double crochet. Uh, to start the third row, uh, first we make a loop like a, like an ordinary stitch. We hook the working yarn first and insert it inside this loop on our hook. Then we turn around our crochet, our chain, uh, and here you see, I will show you closer, this our first stitch and this our second stitch. And again, we will start to make half double crochet uh, to make the third row from the second stitch. We will insert our hook between two stitches. Here you see you have little holes between every two stitches. So we will insert our hook to this through these holes. So here we have free end of the yarn and here working yarn. So to make half double crochet, first we hook the working yarn and we leave it on the hook here. Then we insert our hook where I told you be between two stitches in, in those hole, holes in those holes that's how it looks like under the stitch then you hook the working yarn again and insert it in this Hole back and now you see we have three loops on our hook so then you hook the working yarn again and you push it through all three loops on our hook We have made the first half double crochet. 
Let's try to make the second one. Again, we hook the yarn, leave it on the hook, insert the hook in this hole. We hook the yarn Now we have three, three loops on our hook. Hook the working yarn, push it through all three loops on our hook. We've made the third. We've made the second half double crochet. Let's finish the whole third row with half double crochet. And the last half double crochet. Maybe it will be hard for you to find where you have to put, where you have to make your last half double crochet. Uh, we can remember where we made our first single crochet. That this was our first single crochet. The stitch. Remember? Here. So the last half double crochet we will make under this first stitch of single crochet. Here also a little hole. Under the first stitch of single crochet. So we have finished the third row with half double crochet. Uh, you remember when we were making the second row with single crochet, we made 11 single cro crochet in the second row and 11. And then uh, to start the third row, before we turned around our crochet, 
we've made here one more extra stitch so we had 11 single crochet and we've made one more extra stitch the 12th one and then we turn around our crochet like this so we uh, before we started the third row before we made our first half double crochet we skipped that extra stitch that 12th stitch we skipped it so that's why in our th in our third row we should have now the same 11 stitches 11 half double crochet so let's check if you've made everything right and if you have those 11 half double crochet uh, so one half double crochet looks like this or from the top as a check mark so let's count from the first one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven everything is right so now you know how to make single crochet and half double crochet and we will start to learn how to make double crochet to start the fourth row again we make this one extra stitch And turn around our crochet so how to make double crochet uh, as I said now this stitch is uh, extra stitch we skip it again and we start from the second stitch here from this hole Uh, double crochet is very similar to half double crochet uh, we do almost the same we hook the working yarn and leave it on our hook we insert our hook under the next stitch we hook the working yarn again push it through this hole Now we have three loops on our hook. Then we hook the working yarn and we push it through only first two loops, only two. Only two. Now we have two loops on our hook. Again, we hook the working yarn and push it through these both loops on our hook. The first double crochet is ready. Let's repeat it again. To the next stitch, under the next stitch. two uh, three leap loops three loops on our hook through two of them and and we've made the second double crochet Double crochet, as you can see, uh, is even higher than half double crochet and much higher than single crochet. Uh, we will finish the fourth row with double crochet. And you, you should have 11 double crochet again. So we've made two double crochet. Let's finish the row.
Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And the last one here under this stitch. We have finished the fourth row with a double crochet and we should have 11 double crochet now in this row. Let's check. This was the first double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eleven, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So now you know how to crochet three main types of stitches when you crochet with t shirt yarn single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. Practice them because you will use them always in every your work. And one more thing I wanted to tell you uh, that it will be it will be very useful for you if you will be able to recognize these types of stitches when you look at, at your crochet. Uh, you should be able to see and understand where is single crochet, where is double crochet, uh, because sometimes when you crochet something using different types of stitches at the same time. Uh, you have to count them, how many single crochet you've made, how many double crochet you've made. And if you suddenly forget how many you've made already, you have to count, you have to check yourself. But if you will not be able to recognize different types of stitches, you will not be able to check yourself uh, to count your stitches. So now I will put here a picture uh, where I will mark every row we've made and I will write where is single crochet, where is half double crochet and where is double crochet. And you please look at this uh, carefully and try to remember how they look like and to understand the difference between them. And now we will try to learn how to make a magic ring.
So we leave here um, a little tip of the yarn as always. Now watch carefully and repeat after me. So here we have this free end of the yarn and here our working yarn. Now we have a loop here and both strands of the yarn, we have it on the left. This we take the working yarn. The magic ring is ready. Why it's called magic ring? Because if you pull this end, free end of the yarn, the ring will become smaller. If you pull the strand in the of the ring, it will become bigger. We needed to make a circle, if we want to make a circle. I will show you the beginning of the circle, how we usually make it, only the beginning, so you could, um, you could see on practice how uh, this magic ring works. So let's make several single crochet uh, inside this ring. Uh, remember when we learned to make single crochet before we had this chain stitches and we inserted the hook inside this stitch here we don't have any stitches now we have only this ring so we will insert our hook inside the ring every time inside the ring and make just an ordinary single crochet It will look like this. Second single crochet. The third one. You see, we make single crochet inside the ring. Now we have three. One, two, three. Let's crochet the next one. Now 
Now I have five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And let's make the last one. Again, inside the circle, the ring. So we've made six single crochet inside our magic ring. And now we will do magic. We pull this free end of the yarn very strong. As you can see, we've almost made a circle, little circle, the first row of the circle. We only need to join it here. We join the last stitch with the first one. There are many different ways how you can join uh, the circle, the row in the circle, but we will learn them in my next tutorials. So, now you know basic crochet techniques that you will see in any crochet tutorials and will use to crochet whatever you want in the future. Therefore, try to practice them more to improve your crochet skills so you could feel free with the hook and yarn and then all next tutorials will be clearer and easier for you. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in comments right down below and I will be glad to help you. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please support me with your thumbs up and follow my channel to see more crochet tutorials in the future. See you soon!